friends welcome back to our channel this is harshan and today we'll be creating a talking tom app using mit app inventor so first let me show you the demo of this app so here is our app um uh, now it's written want a friend to talk to click here so let's click Hi, I am Talking Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Okay. So, okay. We can see now it works and this is how our app will work. It works and this is how our app will work. So now we'll click on start new project. and we we'll name this project as talking oops yeah talking tom okay click on okay button so now it will load okay now our project is open we are ready to go so now we'll go on the layout section we'll take a vertical arrangement height is fill parent width is fill parent and we'll upload a background here so we'll select an image upload file choose file we'll upload the image from our file explorer okay so let me select one i had already downloaded so we'll take this one. okay open so Okay. So now our picture has been uploaded. Now we'll go to the user interface section and we'll take up a label. Okay. Now we'll go to the vertical arrangement and we will make the align horizontal as center and align vertical also as center. Now we'll click on label one, and now we will add a text like you can add anything, but I will be writing. Want a friend to talk? Question mark. Where is it? Yeah. Want a friend to talk? Friend to yeah. Now we write. Click. Okay. Now we just increase the font size to twenty-five. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's fine. So now we'll go to font bold, font italic. Yeah, and now. Let's write in the button. Click here. Okay. So text color. Let it be black. We'll change the background color to red. Font to bold. Font to italic. And font size. Let's see how. This twenty look, yeah, I think it's fine. I'll change the label size also to thirty. Yeah, it is looking a bit odd here, but uh, when we'll open it in our phones, it'll look great. Okay, so now our first intro screen you can say is ready. Now we'll go to the vertical arrangement. We'll make it visible off. Okay. and now we'll add another arrangement that will also be a vertical one okay so now we'll take the height as fill parent width as fill parent and align let's do it right now only center align it to the center Now we'll upload the background in the same way like we did for the first arrangement. Click on choose file. Now we'll choose a file from our file explorer. 
let's add this one yeah click on ok button and now we have our image so now we also need a tom here i mean sorry i mean a cat here to speak talking tom so we'll take an image and we'll upload a picture here let's see so i had already uploaded it on my app inventor to save the time so now it's fine i think yeah it must be looking a bit odd here but on the mobile it will look perfect <coughs> now we also need an extension here so that our tom can speak so instead we will take an extension but if you don't want an extension you can even pick it it's there in the like this option is there in the prop palette section in the media you can see a, a speech recognizer but the reason why i am not using this speech recognizer is when you add this one in your, this speech recognizer in your app uh then it when it asks you to speak up like you have to speak something so that the tom uh, repeats it it will show you a uh, that you know when we uh, search on google it uh, we, when we voice search on a google, on the google it displays a dialog box so that dialog box will appear if you use this normal speech recognizer which is given in the mit app inventor but to avoid that dialog box we'll be using the extension one sc speech recognizer now this speech is speech recognizer i don't know when but a few months back the mit app inventor server removed it so now it's not there but uh, luckily i had downloaded it before to use in my other app so I have it I'll drop the link in the description box if you want you can use it from there you can download it from there and then you can use it but you can use this one this one also there will not be any compromise in the quality there will not be any compromise but to, that box will appear so I don't want it to appear so I'll use this extension so I'll click on import extension choose file and i'll take this sc speech recognizer this is not on the net now so you have to use it from the what do you say description box i'll add it there so you will have to take it from there and the code will be same from this for this extension and that uh, mit speech recognizer the code will be same for both okay so now i will add this speech recognizer in my app it is a non visible component okay so now we will add another non visible component that is text to speech now basically this text to speech will be our what do we call the voice of the talking tom okay so now let's change this to australia i need the voice you know the voice pitch that should match a bit so to make it a bit matching i will take country australia language english pitch let's make it 1.5 speed rate don't take, don't change it it will be the same okay so now our interface is ready but what we need to do is we'll go to vertical arrangement 2 make it visible to off in vertical arrangement 1 visible to on so now our interface is ready and we'll do the coding in the next video which i'll be uploading tomorrow or day after tomorrow so do keep subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell icon otherwise you'll miss the video and don't forget to watch the next part and please if this video was helpful to you please click the like button share the video and subscribe to our channel thank you bye bye